How do you think your music has influenced the Latin music and its culture? I think that, um, you know, my family is Jamaican and Latino and okay. Jamaican oh, and okay. Caribbean people, okay. you know, with tropical people, you know, with people that understand what that, that, that timing and that, that rhythm and that pocket feels like in a way unlike any other culture of people, you know, from the bass lines to the way we choose to place our words as people of the Caribbean and of the tropics, I think that it's just a, it's, it's something you can't really define in words. It's a it's a feeling thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you watch Latinos do the South Side of Merengue and you see Jamaican people, you know, do they shit. It's kind of like something that goes hand in hand. And, you know, it ain't a coincidence that in every urban community, the Latino and blacks is there together. That ain't no accident. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's not like you find in every urban community, you know, Middle Eastern and black or Asian and black, you know, you always see Latino and black. And I think we just so a part of each other's cultural significance, not only as tropical people, but even here in the United States, where the, the multi-culture, because the U.S. ain't got no culture. They shit is all our shit. A bunch of our shit is what makes the U.S. whatever you want to call it. We still don't know what that culture is for the U.S., but it's a mix-up of all of our cultures in, in the urban community. You know, the Latino and the West Indian has the greatest influence, and we've always had, and we'll always will, and it's just been that way. So I've actually been influenced by the Latino community, which allows me to feel that much more comfortable putting my West Indian influence in my music, because they made me feel that much more proud to be like, yeah, my knees I jump me, I can and I say it. But I'm just saying, a lot of the times, it ain't until you're made to feel comfortable giving it to the people who are what you really are, what your influences are, or your upbringing in the house, that you do it. So, you know, being that I've been made to feel comfortable doing it, I think I also got to acknowledge and credit the Latinos for their influence on me. Just the same way that I've been able to take that influence and give it back to the music. But a lot of that just has to do with just being around it, growing up a part of it and you know just seeing that it worked when i was able to do the shit and incorporate it little by little and seeing the shit work i'm like man this shit is not gonna ever stop happening with me because it's an advantage that i have being of the caribbean descent being of the tropical upbringing being from that environment i can use that to my advantage a lot of rap motherfuckers and american artists they, they can't use that and i can do what they doing as an American, but I also got this little secret weapon that I'm going to pull out the stash every now and then and I'm going to use it to my advantage. So, you know, I think that's really what it is. And so far, it's been magical results for me. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.